with me to Luke chapter 5 verse 36 through 39. Twende pamoja katika kitabu cha Luka mtakatifu sura ya 5 36. Hadi 39. Amen. Come on if you can let's read it together. When he spoke a parable, then he spoke a parable to them. No one puts a piece from a new garment on an old one. Otherwise the new makes a tear. And also the piece that was taken out of the new does not match the old. And no one puts new wine into old wineskins. Or else the new wine will burst the wineskins and be spilled. And the wineskins will be ruined. But new wine must be put into new wineskins. Let's repeat it. But new wine must be put into new wineskins. One more time. But new wine must be put into new wineskins and both are preserved. And no one having drunk old wine immediately desires new. For he says the old is better. Mstari wa 36 hadi 39. Bile nasema akawambia na misali. Hakuna atakaye kiraka chavazi jipia na kukitakati. Na kukitia katika vazi kuku. Na kama akitia, amelikata lile, lile jipia. Na kile kiraka cha vazi jipia, hakilingani na lile vazi kuku. Wala hakuna mtu, atiaye divai mpya katika viriba vikuku. Na kama akitia, ile divai mpya itavipasua vile viriba. Divai venyewe, yenyewe itamwagika. Na viriba vitaharibika. Lakini... Divai mpya sharti kutiwa katika viriba vipya wala hakuna anywaye divai ya kale akatamani divai mpya kwa kuwa asema ile ya kale ndiyo iliyo njema Hallelujah Amen No one tears a new garment to patch it on an old uh, cloth Hakuna mtu anayechukua kitambaa kipya na kuiweka katika vazi kuku In other words grace and law do not mix Kwa maneno mengine neema na sheria ama torati havichanganyani The new wine is the gospel na divai mpya ni injili and the old wine skin is the old covenant na ile divai ya kale ni Ile agano la kale. Just as the new wine would burst the old wine skins and spill it and get it to waste. Kama bile divai ya kale inayopasua viriba vipya na kuipoteza. So to the new covenant gospel of the church which is preaching the kingdom of heaven would be wasted if it was poured into the old covenant which is legalistic and full of laws. Na hivyo hivyo ingalikuwa kama agano jipya lingelichanganywa na agano la kale ambalo ni la kisheria. Interpreters and commentators of the Bible na wale wafasiri wa Biblia have all agreed that the old wine and old wine skins and the old coat that we have just mentioned are a symbol of religion. Na wote wamekubaliana ya kwamba divai ya kale na divai umpia na viriba yote vinasimamia ama ni ishara ya dini. They signify the law and religion. Na inasimamia sheria ama torati na dini. Whereas the new wine signifies or symbolizes Christianity and grace. Na ile divai mpya ina ashiria ne ema na ukristo. And in this year of God's greatness today, na huu mwaka wa uku wa mungu leo, I want us to come to a place of renewal. Nataka tufike mahali pa kuhuishwa. And I want to talk to us on a message entitled, Be Renewed for His Glory. Nataka ni walete ujume ambao unasema, Unuishwe kwa utukufu wake Be renewed for his glory Ufanyo upia kwa ajili ya utukufu wake Oh how true is it that men or it is That men will always be slow to accommodate new things Nani kweli kusema ya kwamba watu hukua pole sana kukubali vitu vipia And therefore even in the gospel 
people uh, want to be lethargic and don't want to try anything new. Na hivyo watu huwa wako na kusita sita sana hawataki kujaribu mambo mapya. Yet this same gospel I'm talking about is the gospel that saves and forgives our sins. Na hii injili ninayozungumzia ni injili inayookoa na kusamehe dhambi zetu. It is the gospel that brings joy. Na ni injili inayoleta furaha. Salvation. Wokovu and eternal life. Na uzima wa milele. You see it deals with prejudice and deals with intolerance and deals with hatred. You see, the reason why it's being rejected is because we are full of prejudice, we are full of hatred, we are full of gospel, yet it's the same thing that it's coming to do away with. Ile sababu kuu ya kwamba watu hukataliwa ni kwamba wamejaa kudhulumu wengine na injili ambayo ni ile ile. We are full of pride and old way of doing things. Na tumejawa na kiburi na njia za kale za kufanya mambo. And therefore we scorn what the new order is coming to do. Na hivyo tunadharau ya ile mipangulio mipya. And we are not willing to try what Christ is calling us to do. Je, tuko tayari kujaribu kile Yesu anatuitia leo? However, it is always very wise to try what the Bible says in the book of Psalms 34 and verse 8. Na hata hivyo ni abusara kujaribu kile kitabu cha Mungu kinatuambia katika Zaburi ya 4. Can we read it together? What does it say? Oh test and see that the Lord is good. Blessed is the man who trusts in him. Now listen. Oh test and see what does taste and eyesight have in common or what do they have to do with each other onjeni muone ya kuwa bwana yumwema je kuonja na kuona vina uhusiano gani when i taste i feel good i don't see ninapoonja huhisi vizuri wala sioni not unless i'm using pepper ama iwapo tu pingine natumia pilipili you see have you ever taken hot pepper you didn't expect it in food that's when you will see that you will know that the tongue and the eye are connected na pingine uchukue ile pilipili kali hapo ndio utajua ya kwamba ulimi na macho vinahusiana you end up going like the cartoons in the tv and you're sweating and everybody every part of your body is all of a sudden connected to the tongue na kila sehemu ya mwili wako hapo ndio utahisi imeunganishwa na ulimi or even when you take something sweet i've seen kids taking lollipops and sweets and they go like you know the eyes just open wide it's so sweet and they're like mm, and they're making sound and they're enjoying it you see when you taste something good your facial expression will actually make us feel what you are you are feeling unapo kula chakula kitamu au kitu kitamu ile macho yako huangaza na watu wanafahamu chenye unakula but to reach this point lakini kufikia hapa you have to be renewed to in order to enjoy the test ni lazima uishwe ili ukaweze kuonja vizuri the senior associate pastor of Nairobi Lighthouse Church pastor Nelson na yule mchungaji a uh, mkuu ambaye ni mwandamizi pastor nelson one day try to convert me or to renew me or to renew my mind when it comes to paper alijaribu kufanya akili yake au kuisha akili yake kulingana na pilipili you see for me if you give me paper my voice gets lost i mean uh, I, I, i lose my voice for a few minutes kwa yeye uh, mchungaji akila pilipili sauti hupotea and i'll go ah, yeah, 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 for a few minutes me and paper are like east and west we don't meet yeye na pilipili hawakutani and he is there we are eating and he's like you don't take paper why no 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 i will lay hands on you this is the best thing it chases germs and bacteria and he started the gospel of paper naye akaanza kumhubiria uzuri wa pilipili and i'm there looking at him and saying hmm I want to be I want to be a good 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 son in the house. I don't want to disobey my senior associate pastor. Naye anataka kuwa mtu mzuri hataki kuonekana akidharau. I'll put just a little. 
na akamwambia nitaweka kidogo and the drop was dropped you know that paper that has liquid it, i don't know, tobacco tobacco or something so he said try it. this is the best naye akamwambia ile kidogo tone moja tu la pilipili the moment i took a bite i saw the future alipokula hiyo akaona hatima bam i was sweating there was no water in my body i was like mm, and he's like how is it how are you feeling i'm like mm, mm. now i'm not talking but my eyes are wide open yeye alikuwa aongei lakini macho yake yamefunguka so i understand what it means by taste and see <laughs> na anafahamu uh, kuonja na kuona that was the first time and the last time I tried Tobasco. Na hiyo ndiyo mara yake ya kwanza na ya mwisho kuonja hiyo pilipili. And I don't think I will use it ever again. Na hadhani ataitumia tena. When I see my wife using it I'm like how many drops to put two more for me. Eat it. <laughs> Akiona mke wake anaitumia humwambia aongeze kiwango chake. This is the year of God's greatness. Huu ni mwaka wa ukuu wa Mungu. Be renewed. Uishwa. because when you taste the goodness of god your eyes will see things you've never seen Omana before utamu wa mungu, macho yake you'll get a revelation you've never gotten before it's not like paper it is sweeter than anything sweet you can ever put in your mouth kama pilipili, ni kitu kitamu zaidi, but, kiwani. but your mind has to be changed just like pastor nelson tried to change my mind Nika, lakini lazima akili yako ibadilishwe bile mchungaji alikuwa anajaribu kumbadilisha so long as your mind is thinking the old way you will never see the new ways ili mradi akili yako bado inaona mambo ya kizamani hautaona mambo mapya in matthew chapter 19 verse 14 to verse 17 it is the same story that we've just read up there in the book of luke chapter 5 verse 36 twende mathayo 9:14 hadi 17 it is the same story Ile ile. But there is a twist I would like us to look at in this verse of scripture. Lakini kuna mahali kidogo imetofautiana. Then the disciples of John came to him saying, "Why do we and the Pharisees fast often, but your disciples do not fast?" Verse 15. And Jesus said to them, "Can the friends of the bridegroom mourn as long as the bridegroom is with them?" But the days will come when the bridegroom will be taken away from them, and then they will fast. No one puts a piece of unshrunk cloth on an old garment for the patch pulls away from the garment and the tear is made worse nor do they put new wine into wine, old wine skins or else the wine skins break the wine is spilled and the wine skin is ruined but they put new wine into new wine skins and both are preserved When Matthew takes us to this direction in Matthew 9:14 to 17. Matayo 9 mahali tumesoma. We see another picture. Tunaona taswira nyingine hapo. When the disciples of John came and asked why are these people not fasting? Wanafunzi wa Yohana wanapokuja kuuliza kwa nini hawa hawafungi? It is the question that led to the parable. Ni hilo swali ndilo lililoongoza kutoa huu mfano. You can also tell that John was a very good man. Unaweza kuona kwamba Yohana alikuwa ni mtu mzuri. John was an obedient servant of Yeye God. Yeye alikuwa ni mtiifu. But his disciples are drifting towards legalism. Lakini wanafunzi wake wanatoka nje na kwenda katika kufuata sheria. You can be in a very good church but you end up following the law instead of Christ who came to replace not to replace to empower unaweza kuwa kwa kanisa nzuri lakini unatoka kwa Kristo unaenda nje kisheria and the disciples are asking something very righteous something very holy and the answer that Christ is giving before he gives the parable is that listen guys listen and listen carefully na lile jibu ambalo Kristo anawapatia anawaambia sikilizeni kwa makini i'm here Niko hapa. You fast to torment your flesh. Wewe unafunga kukidhi mwili so that I can hear you. Ili nikuweze kukusikiliza. And so that you can hear me. Ili ukaweze kunisikia. But I'm here now. Lakini sasa niko. I can see you. Naweza kukuona. You don't need to torment yourself. Hakuna haja kujiumiza. What was he trying to tell them? 
Alikuwa anajaribu kuambia nini? It takes a revelation to understand who he is. Inachukua ufunuo kumfahamu yeye ni nani. Religion cannot reveal Christ to us. Dini haiwezi kufichua Kristo kwetu. You can be in a religion and still think of Christ on a negative way. Unaweza kuwa katika dini na ukaweze kumfahamu kukosa kumfahamu Kristo. And I want us to just go through this Matthew 9:14. Nataka tukaweze kwenda pamoja kupitia katika hichi kitabu And I want you to understand this. Nataka ukaweze kufahamu hii. Jesus did not come to patch the law with a new piece. Yesu hakuja kufinika hiyo sheria na kipande kipya. He came to fulfill it and make it whole. Alikuja kuitimilisha na kuitimilisha kabisa. This means that Jesus came to redeem and not to pluck holes. Na hivi inamaanisha Yesu alikuja kukomboa wala si kutengeneza mashimo. He was not here to plug holes into the old. Yeye hakuwa kuziba mashimo. Now he continues to tell them that old wine skins cannot contain new wine. Na anaambia kwamba hakuna viriba vya zamani vinavyowekwa divai mpya. Why so? Kwa nini? Because wine skins are meant to stretch. Kwa maana zile viriba vilikuwa vinatengenezwa ili vikaweze kujivuta. Vilikuwa na uwezo wa kupanuka. Ndio. And you see when you put wine and it's fermenting it kind of expands and it kind of increases in volume na unapoweka divai na inapozidi kuiva ile kiriba kilikuwa kinajivuta and as it continues to increase the wine skin continues to expand na kile vile divai inavyozidi kuongezeka na kuiva kile kiriba nacho kinaongezeka so if the wine in the old wine skin is ready to be taken or to be drunk or to be sold and it's poured to another container then you take the old wine skin to put new wine na kama uh, ile divai iko tayari na uitoe katika kile kiriba cha zamani na uweke divai mpya you risk busting the wine skin because the new wine has potential to expand some more na kile Hello? kiriba cha zamani kitapasuka kwa maana ile divai mpya itafura New wine skins Beriba vipya are containers. Hivyo ni vitu vya kushikilia jambo. Like you and I are the temples of the most high God. Na hivyo ni vifaa au sisi ni hekalu za Mungu. The Holy Spirit is the new wine that comes to renew you and I. Na Roho Mtakatifu ni divai mpya inayokuja kutuhuisha. If the container that you are is still thinking the old way of doing things, you risk busting and not understanding and enjoying the things of God simply because you are thinking the old way tra- while trying to contain the new way. Of na kama things. mwili wako ni kifaa ambacho bado kinazungumza na kufikiria ya kale kitaenda kupasuka maana yake hakiko tayari kupokea divai mpya And if today we are the old if today we are the old we are the wine skins na leo sisi ndio viriba listen to what the old wine skin will always say Hebu sikiliza kile kirima cha zamani kitasemaje. The old wine skin will always say I know these things I have experience I've done it before. Na kitasema ninafahamu hii yote nimepitia. I understand these matters. I'm uh, mimi ni ule mse. Ninafahamu haya yote nimepitia. The Holy Spirit is trying to tell you, you you need to pray. You need to I know these things. You don't si lazima upigie Mungu kelele. I mean relax. Yeah. I know these things. I've been there before. Eh nafahamu haya yote nimeyapitia. The other thing the old wine skin would say is this. Na kile chengine ambacho kiriba cha zamani kitasema ni hivi. Ati pastor is trying to say we do what? I've tried that before. It may not work. Ati sell tufanye door to door. I've tried that. Hapa iwezi work. Hapa hivi ni shauri yako. Hapa iwezi work. Mhm. Nishajaribu. Eh. Hey. Old wine skin. Hiyo ni kiriba cha zamani. Can I hear better amen? Amen. The old wine skin would say, right now I'm a bit busy. Hata kupatikana cell, hata kupatikana church unajua hata nikutafuta tu nafasi. I'm a bit busy. Tell your neighbor old wine skin. Kiriba cha zamani. Nobody puts new wine in old wine skin. That nobody. Don't think that human are wiser than God. God cannot renew your spirit if you're still thinking the old way. Can I hear God forgive me? Divai mpya unayoiweka katika kiriba cha zamani. Hivyo hivyo Mungu hawezi kuweka roho wake mtakatifu katika mwili ambao 
I'm trying to say is that the old wine skins will always depend on their past experiences and not what God is about to do in the future. I, I don't trust pastors because one day I went to another pastor he prayed for me and it never worked. Okay. I don't trust believers because you know you know all this argument that come. You see, you depend on your past. I can't begin cells again because I tried cells, it never worked. I went for a cell meeting one day and wakaniangalia ni kama misi msmart. I can't go there again. Old wine skins. On the other hand, the new wine skins. The new wine skin will always be ready for new wine. Da ima kita kuwa tayari kupokea divai umpia. So that the new wine can determine their stretching ability. How many understand that when you are stretching, there will be some pain at some point? Even you, as skinny as you are, when you start expanding, there are some things that you start experiencing like, Nahema kidogo, sana. You can't walk as fast as you used to walk. Now the trousers have to be changed. How many are feeling me? When you wear your trouser, uki unajipata hapa hivi pana mark, ka socks kana kubana. I, I, I don't know whether you're getting what I'm saying. Yeah. When you're expanding, some things have to change. The wardrobe has to change. Wakati ukiongezeka kimwili, unabidu badilishe mambo kada. Tell your neighbor. Bia jirani yako. If you don't change the way you think. We will continue complaining of how tight things are. When you are stretched to the limit, you understand it's time to change the wardrobe. So the new wine skins will always be ready for new wine and are flexible for the sake of increment. They will be ready for an expand, a, exp, a, 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 a expansion. A, 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 they will be ready to be increased to the level they've never been before. Turn to your neighbor and ask them, what kind of wine skin are you? Just ask them, don't be ashamed. Just ask them. What kind of wine skin are you? Wewe ni kiriba aina gani? I saw a picture of a guy. Aliona picha ya mtu who have decided not to let go the old wardrobe. Ambaye amekatalia kuachia zile nguo zake za zamani. And this guy was on a tight trouser that was now shrinking and therefore it's not touching even the ankle. Na alikuwa amevaa suruwale ambayo haikufika kwa migu kwa vizigino. And he had this shirt that looked beautiful but very tiny. Na kuna, alikuwa ako na shirt ambayo inaonekana nzuri lakini ni ndogo. And because he forced himself into this shirt. Na kwa sababu alijilazimisha kwa hiyo shirt. Only one button was holding everything together. Na ni kifungo kimoja tu ambayo kilikuwa kimeshikilia. And he had tucked in. And now the kashat was somehow enduring the process of looking good. When you don't change things, when you don't allow yourself to be renewed, you end up ruining that which you think you love. Na kama umekata, Come on somebody. Na kumaliza, na and at the end of the day, kupenda. you start looking funny before the same people you want to please. Imagine umevaka nguo na kakama KDF. You know, kumefura fura, you know. KDF mandazi, kuna tuvitu tumefura huku, you know. Na unatembea, you look like a scarecrow. You need to change the way you think. Come on somebody. 
Let go if it's not fitting and allow the new thing to be in you. Don't think, na ile mambo ambayo haingiliani nawe akumbatia mambo mapya. Don't think the old way start thinking the new way. Usifikirie kizamani, fikiria kama mambo mapya. And you mapia. will experience the newness of the new wine within you. Ili ukaweze kuona uzuri wa divai mpya ndani mwako. Therefore the will the new wine skins will always allow the new wine to determine their stretch, their stretching uh, uh, ability. Kwa hivyo vile viriba vipya vitaruhusu ile divai mpya kuwasukuma hadi mwisho. The other thing the new wine will do na kitu kingine ile divai mpya itafanya or the new wine skins ama vile viriba vipya their elasticity is determined by the amount of new wine within them na ule uwezo wao wa kujivuta na kujisongeza huwa inahusika na ile divai mpya idadi ya divai iliyomo ndani yake amina nobody is saying here the new uh, the, the, the the new wine skin will burst because of the new wine they are both new now the wine will determine the level of stretch and the new wine skin will never burst because it is new and ready to be stretched it has never reached its limit yet na kile kiwango cha divai ndani yake ndicho kitakacho sukuma kuonyesha mipaka ya kile kiriba kipya Therefore it is important to do away with the old habits within us. Kwa hivyo ni muhimu kuachana na njia za kale ndani mwetu. So that the new wine the Holy Spirit can take us to heights we've never been before. Na ili ile divai mpya Roho Mtakatifu itatupeleka viwango hatujawahi kufika. We need to allow ourselves to be renewed for his glory. Inatupasa kuruhusu tuhuishwe kwa ajili ya utukufu wake. Dwelling on what never worked. Wacha kushirikia yale mambo ambayo hayakufanya kazi. Stop thinking of what you can do to work. Wachana kufikiria na yale mambo ambayo Just allow yourself to be renewed and to start thinking as a new wine skin. Jeruhusu wewe mwenyewe uishwa kama kiriba kipya. The word tear kupasuka ama kuharibika the word used in 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 Matthew 9 na lile neno ambalo limetumika katika kitabu cha Masayo linalo maanisha kupasuka in verse 16 stari wa 16 it says no one puts a piece of unshrunk cloth on an old garment for the patch tears away from the garment and a worse tear is made the word tear there hilo neno kupasuka hapo is actually a very interesting word ni neno la kusisimua it's a noun hilo ni neno la kuashiria kitu it comes from a greek word linatokana na neno la kiyunani the tree schisma ambalo linasomeka hivyo which is a verb form ambalo ni neno la kitenzi that comes from the word schizo ambalo linatokana na hilo neno and it is used in mark 15 and verse 38 na linatumika katika kitabu cha marko 15:8 where we read then the veil of the temple was torn in two from top to bottom ambalo tunasoma ya kwamba nalo pazia la hekalu likapasuka kuanzia juu hadi chini so this word schisma is used to show the force or that came and tore into pieces the curtain that was stopping people from seeing the holy of holies na hilo neno linatumiwa hapa kuashiria ile nguvu iliyokuja na kupasua na kupasua lile pazia la hekalu ambalo liko linazuia watu kuona there is power when you allow the new wine to be in the new wine skin which is you that can transform things na kuna nguvu ukiruhusu ile divai mpya kukaa katika kiriba kipya ambayo inaweza have, kuleta mabadiliko. I have uh, the opposite is also true. Na kinyume pia ni sawa. When you decide to be the old wine skin, ukiamua kuwa kiriba cha kale and try to put new wine in you, na uweke divai mpya ndani mwako. The same force that tore the curtain at the temple na ile nguvu ile iliyorarua the same power that will tear you apart. Na hiyo hiyo nguvu ndiyo itakurarua na kukupasua. Is somebody in church today? Amen. For you you don't understand. Hamwelewi. You say tearing a curtain is something very simple. Ya kwamba kupasua pazua pazia ni jambo rahisi. When you study properly the curtains at the holy of holy it was this thick. 
na ukiangalia na kuchunguza kwa makini hiyo pazia ilikuwa na uzito mnene I don't know how many inches this are you can tell me but it was big enough tearing it was not something very simple it could not be done easily but when the power came to bring the new and to show us a new moment where we can enter into the holy of holies with our own eyes and still be alive that which obstructed us from God had to be torn in pieces in seconds ile kitu ambacho kilikuwa kinatuzuia kuona Mungu ilibidi kipasuliwe kwa sekunde I would like to be torn like that. Mimi singalipenda kupasuliwa namna hiyo. Simply because I've tried mixing the old and the new, it doesn't work. Kwa sababu nimechanganya kile cha zamani na kipya, haifanyi kazi namna hiyo. Number 1. Ya kwanza, in order for me to be renewed for his glory. Ili nikaweze kuhuishwa kwa utukufu wake, I have to allow his spirit to renew me in my spirit. Ni lazima niruhusu roho wake ikaniuishi uishe katika roho yangu. Allow your spirit to be renewed by him. Ruhusu roho yako iuishwe na ye. That is God's work. Na hiyo ni kazi ya Mungu. You cannot renew your spirit on your own. He is the one to do it for you. Uwezi kufanya roho yako iwe mpya. And when he's doing yake. it, when he's doing it some things have to leave you. Na wakati akifanya kuna mambo inapata inapaswa ya kuache. Some of your friends will be forced to leave them. Marafiki wengine wako itabidi waachane nao. Until they get renewed you will be alone. Mpaka wahuishwe pia utakuwa peke yako. You see the curtain was a barrier. Jua hiyo pazia ilikuwa imezuia. It was protecting a common man from seeing God and dying. Na ilikuwa inazuia mtu wa kawaida kumuona Mungu ili asife. It was meant for people to approach God wisely. Ilikuwa inamaanisha au kusimamia uh, kufanya watu wakaweze kumkaribia Mungu. But Jesus ilikima. said, I am the only barrier now and I'm here. If you see me you get life. <laughs> you don't die. Yesu anasema mimi ndio kizingiti ambayo nimesalia ukiniona mimi unapata uzima. I have new wine. Niko na divai mpya. When it's in you the only thing you can get is life. You cannot die. You can only live. Kile ambao ikiwa ndani yako unaweza kupata uzima tu hauwezi kufa. For you to see me for who I am you have to renew what is upstairs ili ukaweze kuniona vile niko inakupasa ukaweze kuishi kuisha akili yako change your old habits badilisha tabia zako za kale just like the religious rituals created a barrier between worshipers and god na kama vile ile pazia ambalo lilikuwa limetengeneza kuzuia watu na mungu so can your old habits block you from seeing god and experiencing him to the fullest. Na hivyo hivyo tabia zako za kizamani zinaweza kuzuia kumuona Mungu na kumfahamu. You and I need to accept the renewal that Christ offers that may become new that we may become new beings before him for his glory. Wewe nami natupasa tukaweze kukubali kuishwa tunaopatiwa na Mungu ili tukaweze kuwa viumbe vipya. 2 Corinthians chapter 5 verse 17 through 19. Wa Korintho wa pili Mlango wa tano mstari wa 17 hadi 19 this is what we read therefore is an, if anyone is in who Christ he is a new all things have done what passed away behold all things have become new listen Christ is interested in the new you and not the old you stop holding on to your old habits old ways of thinking old ways of doing things stop it Uh, yesu anataka na tamani kukuona ukiwa mpya wachana kushikilia mambo ya kizamani. Verse 18 tells us now all things are of God who has reconciled us to himself through Jesus Christ and has given us the ministry of reconciliation. He wants us to be reconciled with him. That is that God was in Christ reconciling the world to himself, not imputing the trespasses to them and has committed to us the word of reconciliation. Lakini vyote pia vya tokana na Mungu aliyetupatanisha sisi na nafsi yake kwa Kristo na yeye alitupa huduma ya upatanisho yaani Mungu alikuwa nani ya Kristo akiupatanisha ulimwengu na nafsi yake asiwahesabie makosa yao naye ametia ndani yetu neno la upatanisho how many have ever seen concord elegance hiyo hakuna kwa Kiswahili let me say this 
Concord the elegance is people come together get old cars au wanakuja pamoja kutafuta yale magari ya zamani vehicles made in the 40s 30s those old cars 60s and to some of you because you are very old vehicles made in the 80s they take those old cars remodel them and turn them into new vehicles how many are getting what i'm saying how many have ever seen that on a tv show or something do you know that old car when it has been redone and has been renewed is usually more expensive than a kdd ile gari ya zamani ambayo limetengenezwa na kuonekana jipya ni gali zaidi ya gari lile la kawaida jipya lina gharama ya hali ya juu kuliko gari jipya lililoko katika showroom Toyota Kenya ndio you find a kkk Mm. 177. Hiyo ni gari ya miaka ya 60 na miaka ya 50. Ndio. KKK inauzwa 5.4 million bei ya hata si Prado ya Range Rover. Na ni kagari kanabeba watu waina na kako na kako na carburetor za size kona EFI. Does it make sense? It doesn't make sense to us. But guess what? It doesn't make sense to the devil when you are renewed and you become more expensive because Christ has paid the price on the cross for you. He, he has remolded mana, you. Haina maana kwa shetani kwa maana Kristo amekuisha ndani mwako. You see Christ wants to make you new. That's what we've just read in 2 Corinthians chapter 5. If one is in Christ, he is a new creature. Listen, you are still old but you are very new in the spiritual realm and hell takes cover when you open your mouth with a renewed mind. Let's allow Christ to renew the way we think. Wacha tumruhusu Kristo akaweze Let's allow Christ to renew the way we do things. Wacha tukaweze kufanya mambo kiupya. And let's not be afraid to try by starting a new cell. Na tusiwe waoga wa kuanza mambo mapya. Don't be afraid to reach out. Tusikuwe waoga wa kufikiria wengine. God has faith in you. Mungu ana imani kwako. Tell your neighbor be renewed. Bia jirani yako for his, for his glory. Kwa ajili ya utukufu wake. I had a privilege of going to a city. Alikuwa na fursa ya kwenda jiji fulani. Together with my wife. Pamoja na mke wake. And men those guys can remodel cars. Na hao watu wanaweza kutengeneza gari ionekane nzuri. We were walking and I thought women don't love cars. My wife sees one that was red and like, "Hey, nipige picha kwa hii." I saw another one and I was like <laughs> hata mimi kwa hii you know and there were other beautiful cars there but these old cars lakini hizi gari za zamani I was feeling like I won't mind owning one of this eh eh akajihisi hata yeye atapata moja because someone has taken time to make it look as it does na kwa maana mtu ameshughulikia ionekane vizuri amegaramika vilivyo kuifanya ipendeze kila mtu anataka kupigwa picha nayo wewe unataka kusema kazi ya msalaba ilikuwa hivi hivi it was a work that has been thought for, uh, thought of for thousands of years by god from the moment that god told the serpent and promised the serpent the son of this woman will crush your head the process began for your renewal kazi ya msalaba imechukua muda na gharama ilianzia wakati mwanadamu alipoanguka pale bustani wakati Listen. Mungu akimwambia shetani na uzao wa mwanamke utakanyaga kichwa chako Listen heaven has depleted its central bank to make you look good Nayo na mingu imetengeneza na kugaramika yote kukufanya wewe uonekane mzuri. Heaven is bankrupt so that you can look good. Nayo na mingu imefilisika ili ukaweze kuonekana mzuri. It gave its only only son so that I can look like an angel. Ilitoa mwanawe wa pekee ili nikaweze kuonekana kama malaika. Tell your neighbor, allow yourself to be renewed for his glory. Don't care about what people have said about you. You may have messed up a few times, but it doesn't count when one is in Christ. He is a new creature. The old is gone. Tazama imekuwa mtu akiwa ndani wa Kristo, ya kale yameisha na sasa umekuwa kiumbe mpya. You need to understand these things. Inakupasa ukafahamu haya mambo and live with them. Na uishi nayo. Romans 12:1 to 2. 
Warumi 12 mbili. It says I beseech you therefore brethren by the mercies of God that you present your bodies a living sacrifice holy acceptable to God which is your reasonable service do not be conformed to this world but be transformed by the renewing of your who aha uh -huh. that you may prove what is the good and acceptable and perfect will of God the will of God can never be proved by an old mindset mind, mindset basi ndugu zangu na wasihi kwa huruma zake Mungu itoeni mili yenu iwe dhabihu iliyo hai takatifu ya kumpendeza Mungu ndio ibada yenu yenye maana wala msifuatishe namna ya dunia hii bali mgeuzwe kwa kufanywa upya nia zenu mpate kujua hakika mapenzi ya Mungu yaliyo mema ya kumpendeza na ukamilifu the perfect will of god mapenzi makamilifu can ya only be contained in a renewed mind hiyo inaweza kupatikana tu katika akili iliyohuishwa the first thing we said is that allow your spirit to be renewed by god because that's god's work number two, allow your mind to be renewed and that is your part na jambo la pili ni kuisha akili yako na hiyo ni lako God will renew your spirit. Mungu atawisha roho yako. But renewing your mind is squarely left at your hands. Lakini kuisha akili yako ni jukumu lako. How do I renew my mind? Je, nitafanyaje akili yangu kuwa mpya? By mpia. keeping the right company. Lazima niwe na katika kuwa na washirika wazuri. Watching the right programs. Na nitazame vipindi vizuri. Reading the correct and right books. Na nisome vitabu vivyo sawa and thinking about the things of god na kufikiria na kutafakari mambo ya mungu if you expecting god to show you his will and you are thinking worse than the devil you are losing it kama unatazamia mungu akuonyeshe mapenzi yake na wewe unafikiria zaidi ya shetani you cannot spend your time on twitter instagram tiktok and the rest and expect god to do something new in your heart you will always think of tiktok and the others nimeona kwa facebook zinaitwa reels zinaitwa reels reels you are there on reels for three hours watu wakifanya upuzi na unachaka ona hii and then you forward and you've never forwarded a scripture hiyo ni shetani inakulemea kwa kichwa ndio tukuwe pesi wa kuforward lakini kusoma biblia na uforward hey itangoja mhm sema bwana nisaidie bwana nisaidie lazima ufanywe upya kwa kufanya nini kwa kubadilishwa nia zetu amen mapenzi ya Mungu yatagundulika yatafahamika wakati tunabadilisha mitazamo na tunabadilisha tunavowaza ndio how many wants to be of the value that Christ has placed in us wangapi wangalitaka kuwa na thamani ya ile Mungu ameweka ndani mwetu God has put a great value in us Mungu ameweka thamani kubwa ndani mwetu Let's allow him to renew our spirit Wacha tumruhusu akauishe roho yetu And as our spirit is being renewed Na wakati roho yetu inafanya upya Let's determine to renew our mind by reading the Bible reading the right thing and watching the right things wacha tukaweze kuwa tayari kufanyia kazi na kufanya akili yetu iuishwe kwa kusoma mambo ya only then can we be renewed for his glory let's rise up on our feet tusimame kwa miguu yetu hallelujah in the crashing in the pressing you are making so
May the Lord bless you and keep you. May the Lord make his face shine upon you. Amen. And be gracious to you. Amen. May the Lord lift up his countenance upon you. Amen. And give you peace. Amen. And now may the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the, the love, love of God, God and, and the, the fellowship, fellowship of the Holy Spirit, Spirit be with us now and forever.